Pride Month is central to the Bay Area identity, much like the Castro is the heartbeat of the LGBTQ America. But things are changing on Castro Street, and the longtimers wonder if the Castro will keep its charm. KPIX 5's Reed Cohen with a story of hope, love, and pride. It's morning on 570 Castro Street. Just another day at Brand X Antiques. There's absolutely no one walking on that side of the street. Tim Flint came to the Castro more than three decades ago when crowds from all over the United States stood shoulder to shoulder just outside his shop window. This was the heart of the gay world. The times, he says, have changed. This used to be hundreds or what looked like hundreds of people, and now it's like one or two, three or four. Still, Tim is here day after day, reflecting on what the Castro used to be, what it is now, and what it could be. You see, this place, like the Castro and her relics, is a love story. He was really the one that was the store. He's talking about his partner, Fred, who asked him to dance in Portland, Oregon, when the two were just in their 20s. Do you dance? And I turned and I said, are you asking me to dance? From that moment on, we were together 29 years. Those years ended, though, with Fred's heart stopping 12 years ago. He's still here. Literally, because I have his ashes over here, so he protects the store at night. You miss him every day? Yes. Yeah, he gave me my life. And that's what love of all kinds does, really. It gives life. And as businesses close in the Castro, Tim hopes love for its history and the people who lived here will love the Castro back to life. Reed Cowan, KPIX 5. And there are so many good things happening in the Castro to help protect and maintain its unique identity. More throughout this Pride Month on the Hope, Love, and Pride, tested but alive in the famous Castro neighborhood.